dear friends around the world, I am here in San Remo, Italy for the first Friday clip of Global Prayer Call in February 2019. I came here with friends to prepare for the San Remo Conference, the Global Prayer Call San Remo Conference, May 3 to 5, right here in this historic place. San Remo has been the place that in 1920, after World War I, on the basis of the Balfour Declaration, decided on the mandates. The victory allied powers of World War I did that kind of decision, and amongst other things, they decided on the British mandate concerning Palestine, connected to the Balfour Declaration, giving the international legal foundations for the Allied powers that won World War I, and this con having been confirmed by the League of Nations in 1923, that is the foundation stone on the basis of international law for the recreation of the modern state of Israel. And the cornerstone of that development on the basis of Belfort Declaration, which, which went before, is been placed here in San Remo. The victory powers and their leaders, they met here in this villa. They have been here for almost a week or for around a week. And then after about the first half of the week, it came to the signing of that declaration. And after they have signed this declaration, they went to the Royal Hotel in San Remo, which exactly will be the place of our conference, prayer conference, 99 years later. And we do believe that this conference, this prayer conference, can be and wants to be used by the Lord as a decisive factor as we come together as an expression of the Royal Priesthood of Europe with the support of maybe others from other continents to stand in the gap of behalf of Europe right before the European elections end of May 2019. So we do connect with this well. We do connect with this historic moment in Europe's history where we did something very, very significant before the Lord and before the nations for Israel, for the founding of Israel as a modern state on the basis of international law. And now, 99 years, nine years later, there is a battle going on for Europe, a spiritual battle for Europe. And that's the title for our conference, a spiritual battle for Europe. And the intercessors of Europe, the intercessory leaders and those who have a loving concern for Israel, but also a loving concern for Europe and their own European nations, they are called to draw together, to gather together, to stand in a gap in the middle of that spiritual battle and intercede for Israel first of all and bless Israel but on the basis of the anointing coming from blessing Israel and on the basis of the anointing coming from this world, the spiritual world of San Remo, I do believe that we have mandate and authority before God if we gather together in unity from different European nations as intercessory leaders and intercessors to make a difference in the heavenlies. That's what I believe. That's what I invite you to join and connect with by coming here May 3 to 5. As we sat at lunch with a group of Christians from San Remo just a few hours ago, we had a very good and a very inspired conversation over the lunch table. And I'll tell you a little bit of what we shared about. And that's part of our heart and of our foundation for coming together and drawing together in priestly royal intercession. It's connecting with all the difficult things surrounding Europe and happening in Europe, connecting with the mercy of God, with God in his grace and with God in his mercy. So there are so many aspects of that battle there is the Brexit discussion that you even hear 
about in Asia, in South America, in Africa, you hear in new use about the, the confusion regarding the Brexit. You, you are, most of you are aware of the tension between Southern Europe and Northern Europe, of the tension between Eastern Europe and Western Europe. And I could go on and on with the list of challenges and battles around Europe. And we intercede and we pray. And one of the things I shared was that as Europe, first of all, turns back their attention in a respectful attitude towards Israel, the face of God will be able to turn back towards Europe. And he will give answers and he will give authority and wisdom to the leaders as they turn towards Israel, that God returns towards Europe and the nations of Europe that align with Israel. So this is one basis of hope. And then the second basis of hope is that God, by his nature and character, as we know, he loves to be merciful. He loves to show compassion if you cry out to him and ask for compassion. And at our table discussion, we talked about Abraham and how Abraham was still willing to stand in the gap and battle for Sodom and Gomorrah. And if only 10 righteous would be there, if only a remnant of 10 righteous would have been there in Sodom and Gomorrah, God would have spared judgment from Sodom and Gomorrah. So that shows you the heart of God, the heart towards mercy, the heart towards giving, giving grace only with very minimal conditions attached to it. Or if we discuss about Jonah, the prophet Jonah, see Nineveh was the capital of Assyria. The Assyrian Empire was the greatest and most brutal enemy of Israel at the time. And God chose Jonah to go to Nineveh to call the city for repentance, which has happened, which shows you something of the heart and the mercies of God. He loves to show mercy. He loves to intervene in a redemptive way. He loves to turn things around, but there are conditions. Blessing Israel, having respect to Israel is a major condition. And also, crying out for God's mercy, at least um, for us as a royal priesthood, as a priestly remnant to cry out to God and, and, and plead for mercy for our nations and for our European continent. These are some of the preconditions. But God waits for us. He doesn't make it difficult for us. He invites us. He anoints us. He equips us as a priestly remnant in Europe and for Europe. That's what my expectation is for our prayer conference here in San Remo, right at that historic well and place, May 3 to 5. We will put more information on the website step by step. We invite you to check. We invite you to pre-register before end of March because it's a early bird price attached to that. And if there are any questions, please write to us. And if you don't find it in the website, it might, may come on soon. And if it's so urgent, your question, we will respond by you, to you by email. So welcome to Reconnect. Consider this invitation prayerfully before the Lord. And may the Lord guide you in your decision making. Lord bless you. Thank you very much.